Okay. We left off yesterday where the Gemara had said that although the Rabbatid feel to have the water coming into his mouth, but the Gemara tells of an incident with Rebbe that the slave woman, she had a bone wedged in between her teeth, and Rebbe required it to be tovel again. The bone had to be removed and she had to be tovel again. Why? Because Kolroy Labilo, Ebilo Makevis. The water doesn't have to come into the mouth, but at least if the mouth would be open, it could have touched every part of the mouth. So if the bone is there, it couldn't, the water come, it couldn't come in contact with that area between the teeth because the bone was there. So we'll see Tosimo. Yesterday we, 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 we asked the question. Yossi brought it up. Uh, this concept of where do you see that the inner part of your mouth has to be Roy Labias Mayim? That the water, if you'd open your mouth, the water has to touch every part of your mouth. If we have two psukim. One says, Baruchas Besor Bamayim. Right? You, you immerse your flesh. That's the external part of the body. So if that's the case, it's only the external part. Regarding Tuma, it's even, it's, that's determined by Maga, by touching. That's where the tongue, if your tongue touches something which is tummy, you contaminate it. But in terms of Tfila, it's only the outer part of your body. All of a sudden we come up with a new idea, but the mouth has to be Roy to be a smile, That the water could touch the inner part of your mouth. Where, where does this come from? So it's discussed yesterday, it's Machlux Rishonim. Some say it's the rice, some say it's Jabonim. We'll see Tosis in a moment. But where do we see the principle of Kola Roy Labila Bilas Ain Bila Makevis? So we discussed about mixing the what? The Mincha. That if the vessel is large enough, you can mix the, the mincha, you can mix the flour and the oil. Even if you don't, it's valid, the mincha. But however, if it's the, the person accepts it upon himself beyond the capacity of any clique, and you couldn't mix it, then it's not valid. It has to be mixable. So the Rishonim ask, but why, if the Torah says it has to be mixed, the Torah says no. It doesn't say it has to be mixed. It says, Ubalal. And he shall mix it. If it's expressed, Belushin Tzivoy, you must mix it, so, right? So then, if you don't mix it, it's not a valid korban, right? And you say, a korban, you know, if you slaughter it, well, it's Roy Lushchita. You say, Kolo Roy Lebile and Bilma Keves, Torah says, Vishachat, you must slaughter it. So if you must slaughter it, it's not slaughter, it's not, under no circumstance would it be a valid korban. Over here, it doesn't say, Yivlo, it says, Ubolal, and he shall. So since it's expressed in such a manner, and it should be, rather than you should, therefore, it only has to be Roy Labila. It only has to be mixable, but not if you don't, it would not be valid. That's what you're trying to explain. It. No. it can be mixed. It can be mixed. It can be mixed. Let's see, let, we'll see toast in a moment. There's a toast over here on the base. Tosa says, what I'm speaking about. Umiyu Kosher. My time is the Roy. Why do we say as long as it can mix it, it's efficient? We have a principle of Kochim. Whenever the Torah repeats itself, that's the equivalent of saying that it must be done. And if you don't do it, it's invalid. If the Torah repeated itself that it must be mixed, Tosis, Umi Koshe, Omid Beis, Tosis, it's um, I don't know, about 15 lines up from the end of the Tosis. So, and if the Torah doesn't repeat itself, it doesn't even be Roy Labilo. Right? It shouldn't be Makiv. The Torah repeats the word Bolu many times, multiple times in regard to Mincha. It's not written as a commandment, you must. And because it expresses it, not as a tzivoy, even though it's mentioned multiple times, it means as long as it can be done. That's what the Torah is alluding. If it can, it's enough. But it's not, you have to. Okay, so now the question is, what about tzivoy? We're saying the water, even though 
the water doesn't have to go into the mouth because the person keeps his mouth closed, but it has to be Roy Labilo. It has to be that the water can go into the mouth. Where do we get this from? Yeah. The Torah says you must immerse all your flesh. What's the, what's the connotation of all your flesh? The Masha, I feel the base of story. All your flesh means eat the word coal, even what's concealed. Even the base of storm, even the flesh that's not exposed. Uchsiv yodov. What? Say, sir, what say, sir? Concealed. The person not expected to drink the water. No, 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 no. You know, you could have water go, you could, as it close your throat. We're not talking about it could go in the. If you're talking about the storm, your tongue, where would you draw that line? No, the water has to fill your mouth. No, it's a, he says cold. It says cold, yeah. sir. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, the person that brings them to Mars is Rach. Rach has his cold, sir. We'll, we'll get a chumash in a minute. Okay? Okay? You have, you have the regular Gemara. The uh, Osmo Hadar brings the Psukim on the side. No, Ernie, I think they bring the Pesukim on the side. Yeah. Oh, it's growing. So it must be another Pesuk. must be another Pesuk. Okay? So he says, it says, Rochez is kol b'sar of Masha, I feel based on story. Uchsiv yodov. But yet it says yodov. It says the hands. Right? V'dashim ma yodov me avroi, avko me avroi. So yodov has one connotation, the external part of the body, and kol... So now we have to make some kind of compromise over here. So is it a coal or is it Yodov? Because we still have to reconcile the coal. Right? Ummatim Beisastorim. Yodov tells me the Beisastorim, the water doesn't actually have to touch the Beisastorim. Mikomo came the coal. The Marbina, I feel Beisastorim, but yet the Torah still says coal, which tells me even the not exposed part of the body. So how do we reconcile to Ikal Meimar, Luchla Pochos, Lochi Marbi, the Vin Roy Labias Mayim? So there minimally, at least, if you would open your mouth, if you would open your mouth, the water is able to touch every part of your mouth. So if you have the bone wedged between your teeth, so it, it's not, it cannot touch that part. So therefore, it's not a valid deal. <coughs> the way it's brought la halacha, which also you have to understand, it says if the mouth is closed very tightly, like wedged tight, it's not, it's not valid. It's not valid. It, your mouth has to be closed, just closed as a person normally closes his mouth. But that's for a different reason. Not because it's not royal. Your mouth is closed normally, water doesn't get in there either. Right? Is because when you close your lips, what we had earlier, the lips themselves, with the outer part of the lip, is not exposed any longer. So what should be coming in contact with the water is not coming in contact with the water. No, no, the lips are uh, yeah. the outer part of the body. Right? The lap, lips are that we said earlier. If the everybody agrees that if the if the mayporo touches the lip, the lip is the outer part of the body, right? So that has to definitely has to be come in contact with water. Who? No, 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 no. There's no indication there. Lachol apochos lochi marbi minimally that minimally that it minimally it's marbe. Otherwise, how do you reconcile the coal? So minimally, it has to be including the base of storim that has to be Roy Labias Mayim. Right? It's a stira here. How do we reconcile it? I don't know. You will, you'll find the possible. He's talking about this Okay. No, so even Ben Isaac agrees to talk. Yeah, but that was a digression because we associate the tongue with Tumma. No, no, I understand. But later you want to show us that the way that the baby is coming back, the tongue is different implications when it comes to speaking, when it comes to being contaminated, when it comes to, and the meat also. So how do we use that? 
Really we're not using proof. No, no, we're not using proof. We're not using proof of that. We're just saying that that was like a, a little bit of a digression over there. Okay. Now the Mars. The Mar sorry, but it's still showing that the Rebbe holds that it is considered a. Rebbe says explicitly. Rebbe says castration. Really, Rebbe should go away after Ben Azir. Ben Azir says even the tongue is, is a basis for emancipation. Rebbe says sirus. In addition to the 24 in the tongue, even castration. Well, it, although it's covered. So the question is, why not the tongue, according to Rebbe? But Rebbe is agreeable to the tongue. He is agreeable to the tongue. He is agreeable to the tongue. He is agreeable to the tongue. If the master causes the slave to lose his tongue, he's, he's freed. He's emancipated. Okay? It's so nothing worse than this This issue over here, whether you castrate a slave, whether that's a base of emancipation or not, it's a machlois tanoim. So we said earlier, if it's the gid, Right, the organ itself, that's definitely, that's, that's Evesheb Golik. Here it's the testicles which are covered by the scrotum. Is that called Mchuse? Is that not Mchuse? Although you covered, although you could see them from the outside. It's, it's, it's covered. So that's the question. But visually that you could see the testicles protruding through the sack. Is that called Goloi or is that called Mchuse? Or is that called Mechuse? That's the Machlux Tanoim. What does that do? Nothing with this. Nothing. What was that? Golur is Bilo. You need a Mum Sheba Golui. Is that called Golui? Is that not called Golui? Rebbe's. There is no opening. It's totally covered. So Mars is Ketanoi. It's Machlux Tanoim. See, over here he says, regarding an animal, we find that this post is written by an animal. A mum takes a korban. Rashi Sirius debates him, Yavi mum golui. Umoch, it says in Torah, Umoch, the chosus, the nosus. Right? Any of these involved, this, now, all this. Moch means squashed, kosus means smashed, detached, and chorus means cut off. Different degrees of injury to the testicles of the animal. So says, "Kula bebeitzin the rebuda." So rebuda says, when it speaks about this various level of injury, it's regarding to, to the testicles. So Gemara understands it means only the testicles, not to the male organ of the animal. So Gemara asks, "Bebeitzim though begit? How's that possible? If it's considered a mumsha begaloi regarding the beitzim, so you're not going to tell me not to git? Which definitely is exposed. It's, it's a coach king. So Mars says, Elo cool and affibates in the Rebuda. That all these various injuries, not only does it apply to the gid, it even applies to the testicles. Different degrees of injury. Gid is the is the penis. It's the male organ. That's the gid. Rebelezim and Yaakov Omer cool and begid. Rebelezim says, I disagree. Mumsha Begoli is only the gid. Meaning different levels of damage to the git. It's cut, it's smashed, it's pressed, but the testicles has no relevance. Why? Because that's that that's mumsha what? That's mumsha besesa. Since they're covered, that's not a basis for the animal to be disqualified for a cobra. No, yeah, but he's learning everyone is not detached. Even if detached, we'll see in a moment, it's speaking it's still hanging in the scrotum. It wasn't removed from the body. Okay? If it's moch v'kosus, that not only applies to the gid, it even applies to the testicles. But if it's not v'chorus, but if it's detached, a chorus or cut, the gid ain't the beitzim no. So Rashi explains. Nosuk. It's not a trafer. Not too much trafer. The animal's not a trafer for this. In what sense? You're asking a very a question. It's not clear what you're asking. It's not trafer. It's not trafer. Okay. Meaning if an animal had it was castrated, is a kosher animal. Could you shecht it and eat the animal? Right? It's still kosher. For a carbon, it can't be brought as a carbon.
No, 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 no. You need a move ship Goldui. No, because it's, we established by a slave Goldui. Correct? So the question is, is it Goldui or is it not Goldui? So we have an argument here for a Korman to be invalidated, that has to be a Mumshiba Goldui. So they're arguing. So just as over there, that's, that's the Kitanoi. Just as they argue over there regarding. Why not? It's not, it's not simple. I mean, it's, it's not so simple. Because you say maybe it takes less to invalidate a Korban. But yeah, but the main thing is the way the Rishon makes them, but we're talking of what's Goldui. The concept of Goldui. What's revealed, what's not revealed. So we see they're arguing this point. Okay. It's not. As we go, Mumsha Begolu. Correct. Then, 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 then it's not Katanoi. But we're saying the argument before by the slave is Katanoi here. So it seems like they're, they're equating. equating. The right. Right. It's interesting. The Mara says in Chorus, you know, the, all the movement in an animal or movement for a Kohen to disqualify a Kohen. Right, the same, what's considered an animal to be blemished, Cohen has those blemishes, he's disqualified as a Cohen. No, whatever, it's similar to this. So there's a famous, so the Gemara says, what about if a Cohen loses a tooth? A tooth. So over there, the Gemara differentiates between a back molar and a regular tooth. What? If it's Goldoy or not, like a, if the tooth is in the back, you can't see it. But if it's in the front, the teeth are in the front, you're able to see the teeth. So there's a story, Ramir Simcha from Dvinsk was a coin. Ramir Simcha coin from Dvinsk. So he once had a tooth problem. And he wasn't sure, you know, he was concerned. And there was a question of a tooth extraction. So, but he would be, he'd be, he'd be a Balmum. And because he believed, Ramir Yibarabis HaMikdosh, he's not be qualified to, uh, to, to officiate. So he didn't allow him to extract the tooth. <laughs> he suffered with the tooth. Not to have it. It's, sim it's similar, similar. It's similar to you know the story of Ramosha, Ramosha Feinstein, when he had his pacemaker put in Ramosha Feinstein. So before he had it done, he wanted to know exactly how the procedure is done. So they ask him what difference does it make. He says, look, he believed he believed Ramosha that if Mashiach comes, he's qualified to be a member of the Sanhedrin. As humble as he was, Ramosha, he knew he was. He knew he was. He thought he believed he would be qualified to sit on the Sanhedrin, and the halacha is a balmum. Is not qualified to sit on the on the Sanhedrin. So he wanted to know exactly how it's going to be implanted in his chest, in his heart, in the pacemaker, whether he's going to be a balmum, or not a balmum. That, that's that's the question. Meaning, if he had no choice, of course he put it in. But if it could be done in one of different ways, whether he will be a balmum or not, he didn't want to become a balmum. No, 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 internal. It has to be external. Yeah, okay, so it's a good thing. That's why you want to know the procedure. That, no, that's not where the pacemaker is. What, do you, what does it take to put the pacemaker in? How much damage do they have to do to the body to get the pacemaker into the chest? Scars, nothing. Yeah, yeah, good. So everything, good. That, 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 that was his concern. Rashi, Rashi and Chumish. Not the Gemara. It's a machlok stanoim. It's a machlok stanoim. To what degree does it have to be damaged? Well, we're saying according to what's his name, Kulam Begid, Reb Lesmin Yaakov, Rashi. Again, because see, Reb Lesmin Yaakov is a minority opinion here. Two of the opinions say it refers to the testicles, but the question is how badly damaged do they have to be? Reb Lesmin Yaakov says there's nothing with testicles. When it speaks about the various levels of damage, it's only the give, not the bait it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Correct, 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 correct. Beimagasa, a large animal. Nikvis b'mesiro. Vadaka b'agbo divremeir. 
If you have, let's say, a cow, how do you acquire a cow? Mesira and Mesira. So Rashi says, what's Mesira? Either you give over the reins, the seller takes the reins and puts it in the hands of the buyer. Or the seller takes the mane of the animal and get, puts the mane into the hand of the buyer. Rashi says, Ba'afsar or Basaro. Ba'afsar is the rain. The rain. The rain. You know what the rains are. He has to actually be involved in transferring by taking the reins and putting it to the hand of the buyer or take the main and give it over to the, to the buyer. We'll see Tostosis argues. Same thing. It's either the main, but it's the giving of, of the seller to the buyer. The seller has to be involved in the transaction directly. It's not enough to say take the main or take the reins. Tosas argues. We're not talking about Sheikhah. Sheikhah is you actually pull. That's, that's the buyer. Okay, but Mesira, the word limso, what does the word limso mean? To give over. So Rashi learns it literally. You have to give it over. Tos is going to have a problem with Rashi. Ketanyu Leel, Kates and Mesira, Av Meshicha, Lomakanyu. Mars is discuss it, but the mission it seems to be, Meshicha would not be a means of acquisition, even for the large animal. Deim Darka Bekach Lo Licha Lefonov. Because it's not the way, the town of the Mishnot, it's not the way to lead it before him. But the small animal, a sheep or a goat, that's Dako, is, is what is, is Bagbo, you lift it. Like you lift an object, you lift the, the, the smaller animal. So are each, are each one of these methods uh, uh, equal in, uh, in the status? I mean, is one better than the other? In other words, is one of these Shikha Masira or Hanbo. Uh, no, there's no Mashiach. The Mishnah does not discuss Mashiach. According to the Mishnah, Mashiach is not valid. Three ways of teaching, right? Yeah, I know, but with our Tana doesn't discuss Mashiach. Rashi says had the Sira and not Mashiach. Mashiach would not work. Would not work. What? Yeah, but we'll say Tosis learns Mashiach is also. Mashiach is the seller is not involved. He tells him take the reins or take the mane of the animal. Why would we ever consider lifting up a large animal? Is it because lifting is more more preferable than, than zero? Well, li lifting yeah. is, is really taking possession, right? Yeah. That's physically taking possession of the animal. So it's so yeah. No, no, no. You're not taking possession so of the animal. So, so, so you're saying that Hagbar is preferable? Yeah. No, but it doesn't. Hagbar and a large animal is not going to work. I understand. Because people don't lift large animals. I understand, but you're saying Hagbar is more preferable. The way the Russian saying it, that doesn't mean one's not more preferable than the other. It's just what people do. Based on what people do, that will determine whether it's so an acquisition or not. Better is right. Better. I mean, the, the Gemara do. says above Mitzio that if you come within dollar amos of a Mitzio, you acquire it. What about a person goes and falls on the on the on the Mitzio, just drapes his body over the object? It says you're not going because there's no such thing as Kenyan by by draping yourself over the body. So the Mar says, but, but he was, but he's within Dalai Lama. So Mar says, but that that he did that action was an indication he wants to acquire it only that way, not within the, with, with Dalai Lama. Okay, but you say, he's physically, he's lying on it. There's no such Kenyan. That's, there's no such Kenyan as draping your body over an object. No, 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 no. Dain no. He says, the Tana holds, Av Meshicha luk maka, Dain darka pak lo licha. The fun of. Because the way it's done, a seller sells something to a buyer, it's either giving over the reins with a large animal or giving over its mane. It's not the way. It's, it's not done that way. Not the Gemara is going to ask that. Maybe you have to have it. No. Maybe you have to bring it into your chotzer. Mashiach will not be. If it's not the way to be done, Mashiach will not work. The Mashiach is less of an act. It's still more effective. The is... No, this, the way Rashi is learning Mesir is the seller is involved in the act. Well, the the seller is not involved. Not involved. So I mean, Tosis will see Tosis. Tosis learns Mesirah. Even Mesira, the seller does not be involved. He has to just give the order. Take Lech Take possession. Take the reins and it's yours.
required. But if it's not it's considered, one person, one if acquisition person. normally doesn't mean taking, pulling it, so th then you're not, even when you find something. Maybe you have to pull it and bring it into your domain to be called it. Bring no, it into your chotzer. So I'm saying, so maybe you have to bring it into your chotzer. Or you have takonis dalar amos. If it's a tzidushis arab masimta, you call it. I'm the Gemara to talk about all this. We'll see. So that's Dibber of Meiv Rebelezer. Chacham Omrim, Beima Dako Nikas Bim Shifa. No, a smaller animal, the sheep, the goat, you could acquire with Mashiach. The larger animal, evidently it's, it's hard to pull the larger animal. So how, what's the means of transfer? The main or the reins. But a smaller animal, which you could pull easily, the way to acquire it is Mashiach. A Mashiach. Yes. The animal. The small animal. Both, 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 both. No, well, no, 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 no. The Tanakhama says... Meshichah does not work by the large animal. And re, re, the Chacham would agree it doesn't work by the large animal. The small animal, the wrong. Yeah. Let's see. Dorash Rav Bekum Chunya. Rav gave a lecture of Kum Chunya, location. He gave a shear. Behema Gasa Niklas Bin Meshichah. You hear this? He said, Behema Gasa, a large animal, you could be acquired with Meshichah. Ashkechinu Shmuel Tamidi the Rav. Shmuel is the contemporary of of Rav. So he finds the Talmidim of Rav, the students of Rav. Omalu, mi Omer Rav behimam Gasa Niklas b'Mishicho. Did Rav truly say that a large animal could be required for Mishicho? Vanan b'Misira Tanan. Says in the Mishnah, Misira. And what's the inference of Misira? Misira means giving over reins, not Mishicho. Pulling, right? Well, well, well. What? Firstly, the way Rashi said, no. Mesir means Mesir and Amishich. Rashi says the Mishnah, right? So I mean, that's the way the Mishnah is understood to mean. Okay, one sec. Listen, okay. Listen to what the Gemara is saying. So he lectured, so Shmuel says, but it says in the Mishnah, Mi Yomar Rav, Behem Agas, Niks, Meshich, Man, and Mesira, Tenan. Rav, Nami, Mesira, Omar, and Rav, Rav, Hayrogel, Omer, he says, and Rav himself, usually he also held, it's Mesira. Hoda, Bey, Meahi, did Rav retract, Betmiya, did Rav retract what he usually says? That he's saying Meshicha and not Mesira? He's asking from the Mishnah. The, the Mishnah, the Mishnah seems to say differently. And Rav himself used to always, always said Mesira was, was the Kenyan. The, when the Mars is, first thing he says, Rav himself always would say Mesira is also Kona. And he says, he means say he retracted. Whenever the Mars is Rav Tanu Pollock, it's a Dochik. The Mar when the Gemara has no choice, it's a question of refuting Rav or not, Rav Tanu Pavik. But the Gemara does, 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 it's a last resort. Right? On that, the Gemara says, Hu Doma Kaitanu. When Rav said that Mashiach is Kona, he's going according to another Tanah, not our Mishnah. And Mesira means Mesira. But he found the Tanya, he found that there's a Tanah, there's an opinion in the Braiso, the Chachomim Omrim. Vzu vzu nixes be mishicha. Not only is the smaller animal our mishnah only discusses mishicha regarding the beimadaka, the sheep or the goat, but the brisa which he came upon says the chumzei no zu vzu be mishicha, that even the large animal could also be acquired through mishicha. No, when he said mesira, mesira didn't mean only. Mesira doesn't only mean mesira. If you say Mashiach means Mashiach and not Mashiach is one thing. But he himself said Mashiach. And our mission says Mashiach means Mashiach and not Mashiach. So the answer is no. He found the Tanah who said Mashiach. No, 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 no. no. no He's not arguing about Mashiach. Not arguing with Mashiach. Zu v'zu. Hadak v'agas v'chei etanus v'yilei l'rav. 
Rib Shimon Omer Zub Zub Okay, Rib Shimon says, could you imagine that just as the smaller animals through lifting, the large animals through lifting, how do you, large, how do you lift the large animals? Well, second. What? No, 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 that's not, that's not a bar. That, that the Gemara says in Bob Metzia. If you find a garment and you lift a, a piece of cloth, it's five feet long. You lift one side of it and the other half is lying on the ground. It's not Hagbar. Hagbar means you have to lift the whole, the whole item off the ground. It's only partially lifted, that's not Hagbar. So if you lift the animal a little bit, right, you jack up the front of your car, that's not Hagbar. You have to jack up the whole car, okay? Maskal or Rav Yosef, so Gemara asks a question. El Mata Peel, Rib Shimib, my Yikna. Right? He went to the extreme. He didn't ask about a cow. You can find a person can lift a cow. What about an elephant? So how per, how's a person going to uh, acquire an elephant? Omale Abai Bechalipin. You're right. Hagbo is not possible. Physically, it's not possible. Chalipin, the exchange, the barter. You barter it. It's Hagbo and not Mesiro. Right? And not Meshichah. And not Meshichah. According, according to Rib Shimon. Right? We hold no. Most Metatlin is not nickname. Rabbinically, you pay money for something, you don't acquire it. Only fixed property. Chalipin is not. Chalipin, the Gemara asks. Right? They were Mavatl, Kinyan, Kesev, Goshem, Yisru, Chitech, Baliyah. Right? The Gemara says. Because what have you purchased, and then afterwards the fire breaks out, and it's right. still in the possession of the seller. Right. Person, let it burn, I got my money for it. It's more ass. What about Chalipin? Right? So you have the same problem. The person does the barter, so they should have, they should invalidate Chalipin. It's more says, because it's Muslo Shkicha. Money is, is a prevalent means of transaction. Chalipin is not that often. You don't do that. Therefore, to go and invalidate something which is not done that often, that they don't invalidate it. But Kesev, which is the usual means of, of transaction, so therefore they were concerned about this. Okay. So, Inabi, Mesokas Makomo, right? Kinya Chotzer. The one who owns the elephant, he's masked the location, part of his domain, to the buyer. So, that when the elephant stands in that domain, it becomes, he's, he acquires it with Kinya Chotzer. No, what? Kinya Chotzer. Something walks into your, something falls into your domain. It's yours. That's Kinya Chotzer. Right? Reb Zeir Omar, maybe Abro Kalim, Umenichan Tachs Raglov. What you do? Get four vessels, get four buckets. You have the elephant lift its foot, put it each one of the buckets. So now it's in your domain. The Kli is your domain. Some are Shamit Minot, but some Achlokis, some Achloks Amoroim. Sham Minot, Kalim Shalokeach, Rushus Moche Kono. Lokeach. So if you're going to learn, that's the case of the elephant. Because there's a machlokas with somebody else's vessels in somebody else's domain. Is it subsumed by the domain? So therefore it's not called the rishus of the one whose vessel it is? Or do we say no, the domain, the vessel, the kli, allows it to retain its identity despite of where it's located. So for, therefore when it stands in the kalim of the person who wants to acquire it, it's in his domain? No, that's nothing besides the kalim. Well, it's a clee. Well, any of it. What, what, let's say you, you put a post in the ground, right? <laughs> and you did it with rishus. If you do rishus, then, then it's not a problem, right? But a clee, which is immovable, is, is, is subsumed. That's the question. Is it subsumed by the location or not? It's a machlok shushanim. Either a tefach or three tefachim. Everybody agrees three tefachim is definitely enough. No, Hagba has to be at one time. You don't. You can't lift all, all four feet at no, the same good. time. But if all four, once all four go on his plate, it, it, that's not Hagba. That's not Hagba. You're not lifting it. Hagba means you have to lift it. That is a tosis later. Tosis next page. The Mark says one thing. Chabilat. Chavilis Moros says you could acquire it. No, Chavilis are bundles of twigs. Does it mean to say when you feed it, the, the elephant jumps? Or does it mean that if you if you make it as a an elevation, it walks up the the, the ramp 
and it stands on the on the on the bale of twigs. So you caused it to be elevated three tefachim off the ground when it stands on the bale of twigs. The two pshatim in tosis. Menicha, you put it under. Right. There it's not it's not in the domain. Domain means it's touching no domain means no no that's not if he puts it on, on the counter, fulls it up, so it's it will be this question. But what about when the bar now takes it takes the vessel, takes the vessel with the oil? So that, that, that he definitely acquires it. Right? That's Hagbo. The moment he takes it off the counter. No, the vessel the oil, the oil still belongs to the uh, right. Right. Unless, no, let's see, he says, we'll see Tosis. Tosis himself, we'll, we'll see Tosis. To, what about if he says, I want your vessel to acquire in my domain? Does the vessel acquire? There's such an opinion. Well, we'll see Tosis next week.